Hello and welcome to Community Chats. Today on the show we have Alicia Gunn. Hi everybody, thanks for having me Ali. Thanks so much Leish. So can you tell us a little bit about what you do here at AWS? Absolutely. So I'm an account manager at AWS. So I support a small group of customers based here in New South Wales and I've got the privilege to work with some of the most incredible minds, solution architects, we have um, the business development um, uh, representatives that essentially can go really deep into each of the key services that we offer. Um, it's a really exciting time to be working in technology. It's, it's fabulous. Awesome, Leish. So what's one of the projects that you are most proud of? I would say that, um, you know, we were all very much aware globally of, uh, of the fire season that we had recently here in Australia. Um, it was catastrophic. And I think that, um, you know, in looking at uh, the Fires Near Me app, mm -hmm. which was designed by New South Wales uh, Fire, AWS were able to support that application using their technology to allow it to scale to where it needed to be. Um, the application was able to give live updates to any of its users. And that's essentially a life and death situation. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're somebody that's close to a fire, you need really um, up-to-date up updates essentially to tell you whether your your family, your friends and your property is safe. Um, so I'm really proud of that story. I think it really demonstrates um, that the outcomes we try and drive for our customers really are around agility and scalability comes with that too. So if you look at um, you know that application when we're not in a fire season like we are now, yep. there's not many users so many on that uses. platform. Yeah. But I think we scaled to a what? Twenty five million. Twenty five million. Hours. That that that's impressive. It is, and to have a great customer experience, um, give people the certainty they need. That is essentially the goal of that application. So um, my job here at AWS really is to. Um, prosecute my customers' business problems um, and assist them, give them the tools that they need to work backwards from the outcomes that they're trying to get to and allow them to uh, become more agile and approach new markets when they're presented. You know, we've all been through a bit of a hard time over the last few months here and globally. And so customers are really looking at different things to allow them to be successful in this new world that we have, you know. So cost savings is a big one. Um, business agility is probably number one. Um, and there's a range of different things that we would go through to help educate them, um, to help them be successful. Thanks, Lee. So speaking of tough times, uh, mm -hmm. one of the questions that I've had recently, and I know our account managers are receiving a lot of questions around, is reducing bills. Mm -hmm. So how can a customer um, who might be suffering a little bit at the moment reduce their bill what can they do absolutely so the first thing that a customer would want to do is to look at their capacity so if you're an on if you're on premises at the moment with your technology um, you may have purchased a certain amount of capacity for a period of years that's whether you use that capacity or you don't um, i guess the, the brilliance of cloud um, is that you're able to uh, pay for what you utilize. So it's actually what you're using, not necessarily um, what you've purchased for capacity. So first things first, make sure you're right sized. And if you are a customer of AWS already, talk to your account team. Mm -hmm. We do, we work with customers all day um, in essentially looking at reducing their bill. That's the first step. Then you have a, a range of mechanisms mm -hmm. from savings plans to reserved instances, spot pricing that can reduce your bill in, in the tens of percentiles. So it's it's a really fantastic way to look at, um, look at it, looking at it per workload mm -hmm. and working backwards from the workload because different mechanisms would work well for different, uh, for different use cases. Um, but I guess when I'm talking to customers, you know, typically it is a cost saving exercise. Mm -hmm. It may open conversations and, and customers are very interested in that. Once we go through that exercise with them, they start to understand some of the, the points around cloud and, and, and how they might become more business agile. So for, for me as an account manager, it's really about diving deep into who are you as, as an organization? Who are your end customers? And, and why are those customers loyal to your brand? Why do they not just choose you once, but why do they keep coming back to you as an organization? And what I wanna see with those customers is I, I wanna help them to spend a lot more time focused on that goal around the loyalty piece of their own customers or their customers' customers. Mm. Um, and we want to look at removing the undifferentiated heavy lifting of, of anything that their teams are doing internally mm. um, to, to sort of remove all of that so that they can really focus on what they're there to do. Um, so it's really about sort of prosecuting business problems 
to assist an organisation to even develop a culture of innovation as well. Um, because it is about the people in your organisation and how do you create small, agile teams that can experiment and make changes mm. to adapt to market conditions. So the conversation very quickly moves to that, that, that space. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Leesh, you are one of our very first global ambassadors for the Sustainability Project. Yes. Um, it's something that we're very proud of. So can you please tell us a little bit about the program and what you do? Yes, I can. Um, I'm very passionate about sustainability. I'm very proud to work for Amazon. They're very passionate about sustainability too, and they're doing some great work um, in that space. The Sustainability Ambassadors is a worldwide initiative. Mm -hmm. So it's an affinity group, it's a volunteer program. Um, myself and four other people here in Sydney were really excited to bring that initiative down to, to Australia. And I guess the key goals for the initiative are, one, to educate and drive awareness within our Amazon brand. So that's across Audible, Alexa, AWS, Amazon.com, so all of the brands as a whole. We want to drive education and awareness across um, those Amazonians and their wider communities. So, you know, your, their friends, their family, that type of thing. Um, and through that education and awareness, we're a data-driven organisation, as you know. Uh, so we really want to see a reduction in waste in our corporate campuses. And how can we change behaviours um, and hold ourselves accountable um, using that data to constantly um, monitor and audit um, a reduction in waste we hope to see? Perhaps that leads to an increase in recycling and perhaps composting, but more sustainable practices overall. So um, essentially we're able to, we see ourselves as um, having the ability to be the change we want to see in the world. So we're really grabbing a hold of this and trying to, to make the change from a bottom up perspective mm -hmm. in working in a great organisation uh, that's doing it kind of top down. There's some great initiatives that Amazon's doing across the board. So it's a very exciting project. Alicia, thank you so much. I am absolutely humbled to have you here on the show and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for having me. Thanks, See guys. you, everybody. Bye.